Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to uh, another episode and in this episode like I said in the last one um, I'm going to quickly give this thing a quick sort of uh, a paint job and let's let's get that done first I just I think I'm gonna do it very 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 simple um, let's do that there I was thinking of just doing literally nothing too sort of fancy, just uh, two sort of uh, yellow stripes going, you know, from the, from the beginning, from the from the front to the back. So yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing too insane. Eh? Uh, maybe should I go all the way? Yeah, let's go all the way. Gonna go do a ring right around the maybe even make that oh, should we do that? Yeah, let's make it yellow. It's a good idea. Okay. Like such. Go up there. You can give the Engines maybe a bit of a, a yellow yellow colour. Come around here. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is I am gonna put some uh, uranium ingots into the into this welder cargo ship. Alright. And uh, I'm gonna cut the, the umbilical and uh, let's see. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Though. So yeah, there's the the quick paint job. Nothing too sort of crazy. It's just looks. Yep, it gives it a bit of character, and it looks. I think looks pretty, pretty damn sweet. Okay, cool. So let me go and oops, let me go on this way and fetch some. Ingots. Let me hope. Uh, hopefully, I have enough. Yes. I think I'm going to start off with about 30 for now. That should be enough. And uh, let me quickly put it into the reactor. Hopefully, everything switches on. All the engines are on. And yep, I think everything is sort of running. It's going at full tilt here at the bottom. I'm just hoping I've got everything here. Okay, and another thing I always do is I sort of jump into the cab here. I press Y to switch everything off and then I switch everything on just in case there is there's something, I don't know, something goes wrong or a sister fail safe sort of okay cross your fingers let's see if this thing if this thing flies yep there we go there we go it floats eh? okay cool so I'm gonna quickly chop this down here and uh, right like that okay cool and it works, it works. Fantastic. Eh? Alright. Let me jump to the outside of the ship. Reposition the camera. So I can see where I'm going. Let's take it for a test drive. Yep. Kinda works very, very good. It's got some it's got nice mobility. It's not too jittery. I um, mean, obviously, I've, I've I've put in enough um, uh, gyros, so it doesn't. Uh, it's smooth. Put it that way. Now, now you're probably wondering why I've put that stripe down there. So, what that is is it's an easier way uh, to dock. So what I do is I I fly down here. I know the distance from the floor to the connector of the back of the ship is that height which I've done the connector on the platform. 
So I, I pulled in here, I go like this. It just makes uh, it makes connected docking so much easier. So you go, you land on the floor, you know, you go like this, land on the floor, pull it forward, you know, you line up, the yellow line is there so that you can line up the, the connector. Just make sure you're sitting on the floor and then you reverse, reverse in, reverse in, reverse in, reverse in and then connect. And that's a very easy way to dock your ship. It's a very quick way. So if you wanted, you know, and especially with the, with the welder, we have to keep on replenishing the, the components and putting new stuff into the ship. This is a very quick and easy way to do it. Okay, but before we do that, I'm going to quickly go into um, the control panel and actually no I'm not going to do that sorry about that I'm going to go into G and I am quickly going to toggle that on and off I'm just going to set up my, my quick bars and then I can see that, that, that the connector is there I always put one to on and off and then I put one in over there and say switch to lock and that's pretty much it I switch the ship off when I don't use it I just press Y and it switches off sort of everything. So there we go, six and it locks and that's it. Another reason why I do this platform over here is if I'm loading up the welder and I load it too heavily, you know, it's not going and I, and I, and I take off, I, I disconnect from the connector and I take off and, and I don't drop to my death it just won't fly it won't it won't fly it's, it's gonna it's gonna be too heavy and you know you've overloaded the welder or the ship the cargo ship or the mining ship or whatever you're gonna be doing and then you know you go okay Craig okay great or, or if you forget to switch on your thrusters or if you forget to switch on the batteries or whatever the case may be the ship is more safe doing it like like this so that is why this is here this platform right over here okay all right now that i have the welding ship what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load it up i am going to build another landing gear with small blocks and i'm going to be using the projector now the I'll show you how to to do it, how to put it on, and uh, how to how to use projectors in this game. It's a very 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 cool function, eh? and especially with this welder where I can weld four five, I can weld literally right through the ship. So you so you're not constantly missing blocks. Whoops! Goodness, there goes my my hydrogen let's quickly just quickly fill that up there and go to o x o and x and we put these in here like such and we do like such okay cool let's take five yeah okay cool jetpack on again right so now before what just happened oh my word okay cool the the <laughs> okay as you can see the thrusters are are cooking the the platform though oops <laughs> that's another thing i i kind of sort of play realistically so i don't I kind of leave the the damaging thrusters so they do damage if, if, if for example like this happens over here and the only reason why they're running like this is because for some reason we are on another ship then the, then then the thrusters run like crazy what I could do is I could actually go to K go to the menu here put in Atmos alright 
gather or click on there and then pull it down and then just hold in shift and it groups it all there and I can make a group at most dot I can save it okay then go back out and just make sure that's selected and I can click off and then go back into my G menu go to groups you see the, atmos the atmospherics are there pull it into 9 and just say on and off so now if I'm in my ship I press 9 they all turn on and 9 and again and they all turn off so I'm going to leave it for now and again the only reason why the the atmospherics are running like that again is because I'm docked to another ship when I build a build build uh, the base eventually over there on that so the little crescent over there you'll see when I have the same system like this when you dock on a fixed uh, sort of a base or, or sort of a land sort of fixture or base let's call it the base you'll see that the, the atmospherics don't blast full power they actually sort of run on an idle and on sort of an idle setting but because I'm not going to repeat myself again sorry guys that that is just that's just that <laughs> okay cool all right so now let me what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all my all my stuff let's just do that dump it all in there um, I, let me keep the gun just in case the zombies again get out of hand and uh, for some reason I think because I haven't built uh, on 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 the land and because it's still as a starter I think the zombies don't attack the starter vehicles or the, the, the land the planetary land I, I think that, that might be the reason so this might be a little bit overkill but when I start building down there I'm going to set the guns to a much higher range and then hopefully they will protect us when we start building on the land. Okay, cool. Um, this is a little bit disconcerting here. What I'm going to do <laughs> very quickly before the whole <laughs> platform comes crashing down <laughs> is just kind of... Um, Oops, I need some uh, plates here. Yeah. Let's quickly do this here yeah, before <laughs> before I <laughs> before we have a, a nasty accident. Right, again, let's do this here. Yeah. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go like this. And oh my word! What has happened here? Okay, so maybe... Oops. Could have an explosion coming up. This could be dangerous, guys. We could be seeing the end. Oh my word. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> The whole platform's moving, eh? Um, oh, my word. Okay, guys, let me just quickly... <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let me quickly... Um, just take off... Oops. Switch out, switch out, switch out. Let me quickly... <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. Um, Alright, let me do it. Let's just, let's just keep the... Let's just keep this thing floating up here. Um, I'm gonna get out. I don't switch anything off. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Okay, let me quickly cut this platform up. What's happened is it's burned to the block and now uh, disconnecting and it, all it's doing is holding on the the sort of like the hook from the the, conve <laughs> the conveyors. Okay. Guys I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fuss forward this or I'm just gonna cut this out. So I'll see you guys soon.
Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, quickly did some repairs to uh, nearly uh, almost a complete destruction of the platform on top here. I've reinforced it with a pillar over there and over there and over there just in case I do leave the atmospherics on and uh, yeah it'll be a lot safer. Okay, so let's try this again. So, coming in for a nice, uh, semi gentle landing. Okay, swing it around, line it up, get him flat on his, on the bottom, and switch on, and jump in and connect and switch off the, the atmospherics. Cool. Right guys, uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So hopefully we just remember to actually switch those atmospherics off so we don't destroy the platform again. Okay. Again, let me just quickly put everything back in here because now we don't really need it here. And let me jump back into the welder. Let me go into my inventory there and let me just do that there so I can see the small container so right so let's what I always do as well with this welder mod I always put the stuff into the welder first so as you can see I can put everything Hopefully we can put everything in here. Um, yep, okay, cool. Uh, we might not need so many of those. Um, we've got that, 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 and that there. I think I'm going to take the rest over there. And we can probably take uh, 200 of those. Uh, probably need like 150 of those. Uh, motors, we're going to need quite a lot, so it's 27. Bulletproof glass, we don't really need that much there. That's also, we don't need much of that. <laughs> Probably take all of those there. That we don't need yet, and small tubes, 400 of those. Okay, we've got all of that, all of that. Uh, radio communications. Hmm. See how many we can fit in there. Okay, there's another medium container there. Oops, let's take uh, the. We'll take that. We'll take the all detectors. Okay. Okie dokes. Okie dokes. Let's maybe another take another. Just another. Say about a hundred of those. And then just another hundred of these. I think that'll be fine. As you can see, I've nearly cleaned out the small, the small container here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's put a little bit of that in there. Let's put a little bit of that in there. As you can see in this, the, the in the welder, because sometimes what happens with this this welder mod is that when you're welding and you need, let's say, example, you've run out of steel plates, and then you throw all the steel plates in the medium container. Sometimes it doesn't weld, so you've got to go into the welder, into the sort of the cargo sort of uh, the menu and stuff like that, into the cargo holds and containers and whatever, and then just move things into the, you'll see, maybe I can show, give you an example if it, if it ever happens, I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll shout it out and say this is why the, the mod for some reason doesn't want to, want to weld there. Okay guys, again, I mean you've got, we've got nearly 60, over 60,000 liters worth of material in this, in this welder. And, uh, okay, cool. So, now we can actually get going. 
but what I am going to do is I am going to sort of end this episode over over here because I want to keep these episodes sort of fairly short because I know you guys go want to go watch other stuff as well. I am going to try my best to get out as many episodes as possible and yeah guys um, again sorry so this episode was supposed to be the projector get so sorting the projector out but I'm glad I showed you this sort of this easy docking uh, procedure or whatever you want to call it just in docking connected docking made easy it, it, it works it's quick you don't have to constantly move the camera around to see if you're docking there if you've got the right height or you know that stuff like that so again guys thank you very 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 much for watching um, I love you guys as always and yeah keep it totally frosty bye